Hi folks, Ron Joyner, field agronomist in with Pioneer in Central Texas. I want to talk this morning about a new herbicide trait uh, we released in sorghum called Enzyn. Enzyn sorghum allows you to make over the top applications for grass control in a sorghum crop using a Corteva product known as Zest. I'll discuss a few of those features and show you what you can expect with this new herbicide trait. New tool in the toolbox for farmers allowing them to grow sorghum on acres that they couldn't in the past. The products that you'll see represented from Pioneer moving forward will have a Z in the middle of the hybrid name. That allows you to know for certain that that is an Enzyme product. And our Enzyme product line allows you to make that over the top grass over the top application for grass control as long as it has the Enzyme trait. This is a non-GMO trait, so it's not classified as a GMO, which makes it great for the export markets and allows a guy a lot of flexibility in the field. The product that uh, Corteva developed for over the top grass control in the Enzyme lineup is a product called Zest. Great product with a lot of application, allows you to make uh, herbicide application up to 20 inch grain sorghum and allows you to combine it with a great pre-emerge such as cinch atz and allows you to use it as a system for controlling grass in your sorghum fields opens up a lot of opportunity for growers to utilize the uh, sorghum on fields where maybe in the past the grass pressure was just a little bit too severe we made an application to this field with zest about seven days ago and you'll notice this grass is really starting to show the effects of that herbicide. You will see a little bit of yellow coloration on some of these leaves as they metabolize the herbicide zest. Very common in these product lines, nothing to be concerned about. So one of the great characteristics of zest herbicide by Corteva is its low use rate, 1.33 ounces per acre up to 20 inch grain sorghum. So again, one way in which Pioneer is supporting local growers is developing new products and new technologies to open up acres that maybe you weren't able to utilize sorghum on in the past. So in this particular situation here, we've made an application. We started uh, clean, we started with a pre-emerge, then we followed with a post-emerge application of zest on these grass and weeds about seven days ago. And you'll notice that you can see right here and here, Specifically, this grass is really starting to show the effects of zest working on it and it's dying. So it's allowing us an option in a field where maybe grass pressure might have normally been a little bit too severe to grow uh, sorghum on these acres. Great option uh, where guys, maybe corn doesn't fit the bill. This is a great alternative crop, especially in Central Texas. You can see great activity out of the zest herbicide on this uh, Texas Panicum, not affecting the sorghum at all. Sprayed over the top after the Panicum broke through the pre-emerge. So really good activity. You're gonna see that in about 10 to 14 days uh, with weather permitting. So great activity with Zest doing its job. Thank you for your support. Hope this helps. Have a great growing season. Again, Ron Joyner, field agronomist, Central Texas. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.